Hello everyone, this is Jerry, and we have an important decision to make this November. We'll go to the polls and make our voices heard. We'll perform our civic duty and make the choice between syphilis or gonorrhea. There are those cynics out there who believe that their vote doesn't matter, or worse, want to waste their vote by voting third party. Well, these people are wrong. I mean, look at the third party candidates for a moment. Herpes and chlamydia. Who wants to have this on their mouth, or worse, their junk? And I've heard a feeling of burn, but are you sure you want to feel the burn in your pants? I suppose that doesn't matter, as they don't stand a chance of getting elected anyway, so don't waste your vote on them. Now, I understand why some of you may not be thrilled with uh, your decisions, your choices, but America will be infected by one of these two STDs, so you might as well decide which of them is the most tolerable. I, today, as your all-important media pundit reading off his teleprompter, will help you, the people, make an informed choice. Syphilis is a bacterial infection that is divided into four stages, the primary, secondary, latent, and tertiary, or late stage. During the primary stage, syphilis gets hard at work infecting its victims, with symptoms showing up usually between 10 to 90 days. Men and women will often see canker, canker sores on or around the genital area, but these sores aren't usually painless, and some of these sores may not be noticed by women, as some of them may be directly inside the vagina. So good news, ladies, you may get a bit of a break in the primary stage. Syphilis has to live up to her feminist campaign promises, after all. These cankers can heal on their own in roughly three to six weeks, but will often leave a scar. So tough breaks out to you gents out there that are unfortunate enough to get it right on your dick. During the secondary stage, a rash will appear on the hands and or feet of the voter roughly 2 to 12 weeks after the canker develops and may appear before it heals up. Open sores, some with oozing pus, may also appear and may be more noticeable in darker skinned people due to the sores often being lighter than their skin tone. These can usually heal around two months or so. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder why syphilis got so much of the black vote, doesn't it? Other possible symptoms during the stage are high fevers, sore throat, fatigue, but hey, have you had the flu before, right? It can't be that bad. Hair loss, swelling, the lymph nodes, and nervous system issues are also something to consider, but there is also weight loss, which may be good for some of you that need to drop a few pounds. During the latent stage, it can last from 1 to 20 years. The voter is symptom-free, but is still contagious and can still have relapses. Of course, if there is hope, America, syphilis may reach its latent stage before her first term is up. But the late stage of syphilis may also show up within a year, which can cause heart problems, blood vessel problems, permanent brain damage, or possibly even death. Gonorrhea, like syphilis, is also a bacterial infection. Gonorrhea usually gets to work around 14 days after infection. Effects among women can sometimes be so mild that they can go unnoticed or mistaken for a yeast infection, but some aren't so lucky as they can experience bleeding between periods, abdominal pain, as well as sharing a few effects that they share with men, which include painful burning during urination, greenish yellowish discharge from genitals, and men have the nice bonus of painful swelling of the testicles. So I guess contrary to rumors of misogyny, gonorrhea at least mostly believes in equality when it comes to infecting his victims. Aren't you glad we live in a country where we're free to make this decision? Some countries are run by a cabal of criminals who control things from behind the scenes to give people the illusion of choice. But that's thankfully not the case in America, and that can't ever happen in America. Because I, the guy reading the teleprompter, said so, and whoever claims differently is a racist, sexist, homophobic conspiracy theorist that needs to shut up.